They say Hell Let Loose is like a movie. What's the one major thing missing from all action movies these days, guys? Full penetration. Guys, we're gonna show full penetration. Nice, good hit. Uh, 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 press again. There you go. Oh, yeah. Nice hit, dude. Nice hit. Behind 69. Nice, Bill. Anal, vaginal, cowgirl. Reverse cowgirl. All the hits. All the big ones. All the good ones. Mantle right there. Come on. Good shot. Hit. He's dead. Hit down. We're going to show a lot of it. Let me get out of here. Hold on. <laughs> Full penetration. Crime. Penetration. Crime. Crime. Full penetration. Oh, that. And this goes on and on and back and forth for 90 or so minutes. Uh, right there, right there. Oh my god, you got me. Get him, get him, get him. Good, Good kill. Panther's dead. Until the movie just sort of ends. So, I'm back to do some more videos. Hello, Philip Schofield. I fuck lobsters for money. I've taken a long break from Hell at Loose. It's a really frustrating game at times. Um, as much joy as it can bring you, it can make your head explode with the stupidity. So I thought I'd just put a really quick guide together on how to play the game. <gasps> so now you understand how this game works, you can start having some fun. The fucking hold up. Go <laughs> but people's idea of fun changes from person to person. And you. <laughs> but to make one of these videos and find these moments, I have to play so many games. Just because so many of them are so boring, because you just can't spawn anywhere. The only reason I've got to play so much this weekend is because The Queen is dead. Long live the King Singers. And I'm probably going to have to play some more of this game to finish this video. Because all I tend to do is run around with a rocket and blow up Garys. Because I love killing Garys. But obviously my fun takes away from the other team's fun. And that's what the game is all about. He is. Right there. Oh, what a shot. I'm not joking. Killing that Gary is way better than killing any heavy or anything. But the thing is about this game is that no one really wants to play it. They just want to have fun. But in order to have fun, you have to play it. I'm not even sniper level six, despite playing 2,206 hours in the game. So a lot of your fun depends on your teammates and how well you get on. But it also depends on the other team because they're trying to destroy your fun. But a lot of the fun comes from working together, right? And when people ask how much Hell Let Loose has changed over the last few years, kind of not a lot, because the core of it is still the same. And you could talk about gun sway and running speed and tank balance, and all these things are very subjective. And they don't really change the fact the game is still just about garrisons. And it's not an easy game. And that's because it depends on your team. It's probably the only proper team game there is out there. <laughs> Fuck off. But what happens when you don't play as a team? You generally have a fucking awful time. And it's literally just because you're not building garrisons. And I can't say how many times I've said build garrisons, but it even fucking says it in the admin thing there build garrisons to help your team win the game. And I've said there are supplies to build a garrison in the HQ, and this guy says, why would I build a garrison in the HQ? And it's not his fault that he doesn't know, but it's kind of his fault that he doesn't know. And I don't care, because I'm just trying to kill tanks. And people hate solo tankers, right? But here I am on Foy, we're, we're losing pretty bad. I'm just sat in a Stuart, which costs no fuel, hosing away at all this infantry. I get about 50 kills, we get a few OPs, and end up getting a garrison that they're all pushing off. And there's a lot of people who say that's not teamwork, but you have to look at it from a 
squad perspective and a team perspective. And here's some Purple Heart Lane the other day. And we're in the meat grind squad. This is just a public game, but I know that we need to, to win this game. We have to go up the shit pipe and get blown to shit over and over again. And I'm literally just waiting here to get my OP on because there's arty and it's like moving up one yard at a time. And this moment isn't fun, you know, it's really fucking frustrating. But this is hell at loose. If you're not killing my OP, I'm spawning on it and I'm running across an open field and I'm dying over and over again until I can get a new OP. Up. Because all you're doing when you get kills is buying time, which is still really oh, valuable. Nice. But getting OPs buys you a lot more time. No. Did, did the OP go up? Oh, and instantly down? No. Fuck. Yeah, OP's gone. Fuck. No. So getting a few kills is great, but getting an OP or Gary sets people a long way back and they have to run across that open field all over again. There he is, showing them back. And if every map was like Purple Heart Lane or Ramagan or Foy, Hell at Loose would not be a game that anyone would play. W, W for the win. I'm dead. And even on these shit maps, you can still find fun, but it comes from the people around you. Hell at Loose has always been shit, and it's always been good. And that's always relied entirely on who you're playing with. Satchel, we're going down. And this is where Hell at Loose beats every other game out there. The sense of accomplishment. Oh, nice. Kill XP guys right let's here. Let's go. Bye bye. Fuck. But aside from garrisons and teamwork, how else could Hell at Loose be improved and make it more fun? Well, for one thing, the gunplay in Hell at this is very arcadey and you can die very quickly. And I've always just accepted this. I've never really thought about it. <laughs> I just thought that's the way it is. Hell at Loose is a bit arcadey. Um, it's not like a Milsim thing. Yeah, fucking right. It's sort of an in-between postscriptum and battlefield. That's what it's been to me. And I guess one reason why it's so easy to shoot people historically in Hell at Loose is because they move so slow. Well, you know, not at all. Without really needing to rejig the whole gunplay mechanics, you've just made it 15% harder to shoot people by increasing their speed. And yeah, Hell at Loose could definitely do with making the gun sway a bit more or something along those lines. But there is a reason why the game is doing so well compared to its more hardcore competitor. And probably at the moment people think it's too much. But I don't know, give it a few weeks, maybe months, and uh, I think people will get their heads around it and start killing everyone with ease again. And I've always hated the run speed since they made the change in update 8. And I've always hated the tank speed since they changed it whenever they did. Main tanking became too boring. That's why I love the recon vehicle. So much quicker and nimbler. The thought of sitting on a hill shooting other tanks doesn't really interest me too much. Especially as a driver. And look at this motherfucker. That thing fucking travels. Eh? So maybe increasing speed for infantry and tanks might make it more challenging. And maybe, just maybe, it might make shots more satisfying. Oh! Get fucking wrecked! And by the way, I played two games on Postscript in the other night, and one was amazing. I got like 50 kills. This is exciting! I'm having fun! And then the second one was trash, and I got five kills. So it's not really anything to do with the gunplay how that game plays. Anyway, back to speed. If you think about tanks, right, um, it takes six seconds to reload a shot. So it essentially means you've got six seconds to get to cover, which just promotes really campy gameplay. And you apply that same thing to infantry. 
Any speed increase is going to be so welcome for me because it just gives you more time to move and get into cover if you're getting shot at. And when you die so quickly, those seconds really help. Especially when the maps are so open in this game. And yeah, it's very simplistic to think about speed in this way and maybe you should slow down if you turn and all this sort of stuff. But overall it's still an improvement. And having been a player of Howl Let Loose for coming up on four years now, you know, these things take time. And uh, I've been there. I've been through all the changes, hated them, loved them. It's a painful process. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just such an odd game where it's so painful to play at times and then so brilliant in other times. Oh, fuck it, I can't see that. So that's all I've got for this time. I'll try and be a bit quicker on the next video. I wanted to do like a classic video, um, but I don't have the time to edit this stuff. It takes far too long. And I had no idea Update 14 was going to come out so quickly. So I'll be back soon with some of this bullshit. Yep, good. Picture is taken. There's the 76. You can wrap around him. If you cut left, you can wrap around Fuck. him. Fuck. Oh, boy. You can wrap boy. around him. Okay, you let's must. think about you this. <laughs> you don't have much Full time. Spend, baby. You got four minutes. Uh, uh, <laughs> let's think about this. <laughs>